My name is Courtney. I am a specialist CIMT therapist here at CIMT. We are currently working with Ava, who is 15 months old, and we are working with her left side. I'm the father of Ava Jones. She's uh, just started a, a session today here. When she was born, a few months in, we noticed that her left, there was limited movement in her left arm, um, and she was always using the right. We found out she had um, cerebral palsy of um, the right hand side of her brain. Well, that's when we started doing our research. I think, what can we do? Is there anything out there that can give her that sort of, the help that she, she needs to get the most out of that left hand? We thought, well, this, this looks like it gets the best results within the time frame as well. Just, just from the first session alone, I can see, you know, the movement in her left hand, her left arm is, is, is brilliant. But for Ava, her week one goals, it's always getting used to the cast and actually getting um, used to actually initiating movement with the affected side. Rather than always use her right side, it's using her left side much more spontaneously and with purpose. We look at increasing her shoulder range of movement, but we also wanted Ava to start doing some more self-feeding with her left side, and so we started that in sessions. Well, I've obviously come into it with an open mind. You know, everyone has to. It's gone a lot better than what I thought it, it, it would have gone. The guys here put the cast on, absolutely fine, perfect. She loved it. She was smiling the whole time, so I was, I was shocked there. It's like, you know, there was a switch. She knew straight away, yeah, she still tries to move her right hand, but her left hand started moving a lot more, more than I've never seen. And then obviously the, the physios here working with her just on simple tasks, you know, and exercises. And to see that movement in her hand, it's like really quite, uh, well, it's just quite inspiring in a way. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling even more confident about the results at the end of, you know, of the month, the session we've got. She's taken really well to it. She's she's using her left a lot more with the cast being on as well. The cast itself hasn't bothered her at all. We're, we're really impressed to how quickly she's taken to it. Been working on getting her to pick her fork up, getting her to pick her food up herself. Even little things like if she's got an itch on her face, the first sort of week she would use the cast. Now she'll use her left hand to to scratch her face and you know point to different things and. Um, give high fives and you know little things that you didn't think that she'd pick up that quickly but she really has. The goals of week two start to become a little bit more specific and targeted. It's a continuation of self-feeding. We look at increasing the range of the movement now so we're, usually in week one we're trying to get um, shoulder flexion to above just above 90 and then by the end of week four we're hoping that we can have full range of movement for shoulder flexion. We looked at actually getting Ava to be able to actively extend her elbow during uh, week two and she achieved this so she was able to really really demonstrate movements when she was either going to hit objects away she was able to actively extend her elbow um, and bringing objects towards her. We also um, looked at gross motor movement while she was actually playing with her left side so uh, we looked at setting goals um, from looking at sit to stands, getting her sit to stand, getting her actively moving into sit to stand. We had a look at specific shoes for Ava that gave her more support around her ankles. We incre um, included doing standing and increasing Ava's standing tolerance. It's been really positive. I'm really, really sort of impressed. I had, I didn't want to set my expectations too high. Um, because obviously it's a slow journey in terms of where her milestones and that are and if she'll ever reach certain things but she's really really come along these past few weeks she's even her speech and her language and noises um, her way of communicating her way of understanding what we say now has completely changed um, start talking to her more like a toddler rather than a baby I feel whereas I've always kind of wrapped up in cotton wool. <laughs> now I'm seeing how like independent she is. She can do it herself. Like she doesn't really sort of need me to sort of make sure she's okay. She can tell me exactly what she needs and what she wants and she's been she's just been amazing. She's really, really taken to it. Her range of movement has come on tenfold from what it was um, from that first few days. I wouldn't even say the first week, first few days. Um, and then now it's just, um, even with the cast off now, yeah, she'll always go to a dominant hand, which is a right hand. 
we'll, we'll never change that, but she uses that left hand all the time now. So obviously we came with a left, a left arm, um, but there was also problems with not her walking, but she's not as quick. Um, uh, other children her age are usually walking. Every other, every child's different, but you can see her disability is affecting her slightly now. She will walk. I'm not worried about that, but that was an issue for us right now and the team have accommodated that and they've done lots of walking with her. She does the four point kneeling now when we're at home and here, so she'll get on all fours. She may not scuttle across the floor, but she'll get on all fours and she'll get down and she'll bum shuffle. And then now she sort of, she lifts herself up on objects and stands and can hold her own body weight standing. And that was all from these sessions. She couldn't do that before. And it wasn't, it was, it was sort of brought on quickly because of the sessions. So the team had done brilliant because they've accommodated everything. Extremely happy we've done it so early. Um, but it's one of those things as well is if you miss it, you'll always be thinking, would it have been better? You know, if not, and I, I went into this process of, okay, we're gonna pay for this. We're gonna get Ava booked in. If, if we get results, they're amazing. If we don't, then we've tried. We won't move forward and think, oh, you know, if only we did that, would she be doing this now, this, that, and the other? But now I know she will be because we have got results and we have seen a change, so I'm happy. So yeah, so now I've done it, yeah, more than happy. It's been it's been a, a, a really nice experience. It's turned like, um, not a nice experience of the diagnosis and everything um, for the scans she had and stuff and finding out what, what was wrong with her to, you know, go into for a treatment, which has been actually really nice and pleasant with the staff and the team and everything, and coming out of it all positive and then seeing the results. So it's sort of like flipped it. It's been a, like a horrible experience to a more positive one. It, it, it's, it's, it's a nice, I won't say end, it's not the end, but it's a nice sort of end to a chapter.